Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to disconnect external devices. So disconnect all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have any kind of uh, HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, headphone which you're not using, you can disconnect it. Disconnect additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected, the dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect arcade stick disconnect mul multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy etc you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable or enable the steam input now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the controller tab and over here you can select disable steam input launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even enable steam input and then check if both does not work you can use default settings and then follow the next step so the next step is to now playstation controller you can enable the controller in sound control panel now for this use wired connection you can connect your controller using the cable to the computer so type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound go to sound option now connect your controller using the usb cable so right now my PS5 controller is not connected, so I'm connecting right now. Once the controller is connected, you will see your you, you will see DualSense wireless controller. You can uh, make a right click. If not enable, you can enable it and then make a right click and then cl click on configure speaker and then you can quadrophonic. Now click on next. Put a check on front, left and right. Make sure put a check on surround speaker and then click on next and then click on finish. Now you have to relaunch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So if the wireless connection is not working, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is again for PlayStation controller. You can use DS for Windows. You can find this application. If you if you have it, you can just use it. If you don't have it, you can search in Google, install it, configure your controller and then check. Next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, you can go to uh, Microsoft Store. You can type in Xbox accessories app and then find Xbox accessories app. And then if not installed, uh, you can install it from here and then you can launch Xbox accessories app. Now, once you launch it, you have to connect your controller using the cable. It has to be wide connection. Now, let me connect. Once you connect the controller, it will detect your controller and then you can click on these three dots and then you will see update option. If update is available, click on update now, click on continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now for PlayStation controller user, uh, you can use PlayStation accessories app. So you can search in Google PlayStation accessories app. You can go to the official PlayStation website and you can download this and then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and install PlayStation Accessories app on your computer. If already installed, you can launch PlayStation Accessories app on your computer. Now, once you launch it, now you can connect your controller once again. Now, now once the controller is connected, you should be able to see your controller over here. And if it is not up to date, you will see update option. In my case, it's already up to date. So you can update your controller and then you can launch the game and then still not working. The next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. Now for this, uh, you can go to Steam and then at the top right here, you can see big enter big picture mode icon, click on it. And now you will see the game over here. You can launch the game from here and then check. Now it's still not working. Uh, so one of the steps shown in this video should help you uh, to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.